Sports 3 representatives Barnhill, Mundine and Troy Stone all competed on Friday night. You would expect the Bears to be a touch fresher. St George then, their first touch of the ball. And that is Jason Donnelly. With Noel Goldthorpe wearing the seven and that is Colin Ward. One of the young St George forwards. Thompson. Red-headed second rower. Following a big night on Friday, young Troy Stone will certainly earn his rest come the end of this weekend. Saints then clearing it from their own 40-metre area and watching it across the sideline. Well, Sydney coming away with this scrum victory. And then it was Ben Eichen who was put over. As North come out along the line, the remainder of it. 35 metres out from their own uprights at the moment. As David Fairley makes a run that takes them within five metres of halfway. And ben Eichen moving into 5'8 from that scrum win. David Hall has been named there, of course, normally a winger. But with Greg Florimer out with a broken hand. Short ball here to Billy Moore's a good one. Takes him 39 out on the last tackle. We see David Hall going into the pivot roll. Josh Stewart's kick going over the dead ball line. Watched Breeze coming diagonally across the ground in favour of North's I fancy in the first half. This is David Barnhill. 25 metres out from his own line. Now with Hardy. And Ward has reached the 30 metre line for the Dragons. That's Troy Stone, centralising play, almost to the 40 metre line. Bartram it is with the ball. A couple of metres on his own side. And the rebound, it's a chance for the Bears. It's going to be more than a chance. Well, Lady Luck has smiled on them and Ben Eichen gets the try. It came off Nigel Roy, there was no knock on. And North Sydney have come up with the try. And a touch of luck for the Bears, but you take any that you can get. The kick straight into the North Sydney player. No problems with that man on side. He drew Chris Quinn nicely and gave Ben Eichen a very simple run to the line. Mundine coming across in cover. Straight away, Noel Goldthorpe. Putting the grubber kick through. Cleaned up by Nigel Roy. And then it was just a simple task of drawing the fullback, which he did nicely. And the ball out in front of Ben Eichen. A little bit of a juggle. And Eichen raced 40 metres to score the first points in this game. And he won't get too many easier ones than that, the former Gold Coast centre. With a fairly simple attempt at goal, but in these conditions, you never can tell even with the very good goal kickers, Jason converts. North Sydney leading St George, 6-0, early days. Just not wanting to labour that, Dallas basically put his hand up and said, I am offside because he stopped the chase, but he stopped about five metres away from Quinn. That's why probably a penalty should have been given, but it doesn't matter. North Sydney's Matt Sears has uh, got it completely out of his mind as he makes a spirited run, losing his footing on the cricket pitch area. They keep coming to the right, and Taylor jinks his way forward. David Hall is wearing 16. Steve Trindle, the other front row forward. Now face ball finding David Fairley and Fairley puts a hand up in the face of Young Thompson. Gets away. The pass goes to Nigel Roy. And Roy is tackled about seven metres from the line. They've only got to sweep it back this way. St George might be light out wide. But it's Butner. 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 He's going to make it. Butner scores. Oh, Michael Butner gets the try for the Bears. And it's his first try of the year for North Sydney. Michael Butner, the former Parramatta player, 
It came because of the charge of David Fairley. And as Ray pointed out, St George are in trouble. Players rushing up out of the line. It was Wayne Bartram who missed initially. Then Colin Ward and Michael Buton able to spin out of the tackle. Wayne Bartram got up a lot quicker than his teammates. He came up with a, a bad miss. Well, there's no such thing as a good one. And that really put pressure on the inside man in Colin Ward and Buton with good leg drive, spinning out. You'll see here he goes down early. He's not quite sure where the cover defence is. He's taking no chances, letting the momentum take him over the line. Taylor now. And another two points. 12-0. The Bears doing it sweetly against St George. And then it was Mark Soden and now Brett Dallas. And here's Dallas weaving a passage down the centre. Now Dallas, he's down to the 20-metre line. Oh, heavens above. Brett Dallas, is he fast? Oh. Penalty to the Bears. And I've got to say that that was poor refereeing from Mark Oden. He should have allowed the advantage to play before penalising. Jason Taylor knew there was a try on. It was about five on two. Jason Taylor was first receiver on the short side. And it had four points written all over it, set up by this magnificent individual effort from Brett Dallas. He's beaten five and six players there before Chris Quinn grasped him. He got a good play the ball in, and Jason Taylor had troops on the far side of that play the ball, and they wanted the ball desperately. Well, Taylor from right in front, he doesn't, he doesn't mess about with these. Two further points to the Bears, and it's a comfortable lead at the gallop to get started. Oh, they're on fire, North City. They are on their game. Three players there to ship with that kick over the dead ball line, and then it was a race back to get the play started. Billy Here's Moore. Billy Moore with a bust, goes inside, picks up Brett Dallas. Dallas pulled down about 35 metres out. Soden, Taylor. Sound of the whistle brings the North Sydney penalty. Danny Williams, incidentally, is on for the Bears in 15. And a little bit of a set two between a couple of players. Mark Soden involved. It's Danny Williams playing the football over the top of Kevin Campion. Mark Soden, a little bit of frustration from Wayne Bartram. Soden threw one and then Bartram threw three. I'm not quite sure who finished on top there, Ray. I think I would have preferred to be in Wayne Bartram somehow. Well, it all depends on which way the penalty's going to go. I would have, Well, it's already gone to North Sydney, so... Well, Bartram smiling like he won. Taylor then from right in front. Just inside the 20-metre line. And a further two points. You don't give him a chance from in front. 16-0, his side in front. So Bartram it is that starts... St George one more time and Larson we could almost show you four starts to play and it would be a, an exact replica well the Bears just aren't giving St George an opportunity and that's why they're sailing along so nicely this is the third tackle Craig Wilson drops the hip you see another forward lining up somewhere here comes Billy Moore now he makes the charge and again you'll get a kick in at the end of this and no mistakes. And it's very hard to counter a team when they're playing as safe as all this. Ben Eichens' run is good. The support was there. It's Matt Sears. He gets a pass inside. Billy Moore away from Williams. On for Butner. Here comes the double. He gets his second. He gets his second. Michael Butner. 20 points to nil and put that one down as the best try you've seen all season and it'll take a good one to beat it for the remainder of the year great football here look at the hands here from Eichen that's a tough take in these conditions then the footwork he straightens up through the middle of the St George ruck Mundine catches him from behind the referee's right in line with that pa pass Matt Sears as he's so good at doing supporting Billy Moore the basketball pass Danny Williams on to Butner. He's still got two players on the outside who he could have passed to to score as well. This man set it up with great hands. Ben Eichen, 
Still had the strength to get his arms free, and Matty Sears on the fly. Through another tackle. St George really having problems containing the ball movement from the Bears. He finds Billy Moore. Rapid fire here from Moore. He knows that he's about to be claimed by Walford. And then Danny Williams. Copybook ball out to Michael Butner. He sets sail for the line. This should be uh, this should be good photographics or whatever you call it. Michael Butner straight down the lens. Thank you, Michael. Well, no, it's a rough head. I can say that. He is a former teammate. Yes, you have reminded us a couple of times that he formerly is from Parramatta. The young North Sydney captain then. It's low, but it's going to get two points. Never mind about the gracefulness. The two points is there. Bears 22, Dragons nothing. Is there a sign of the times in the name Brenton Pomery? It sounds very much like a rugby union name. With due respects to the lad, but it's certainly... It's a cultured, uh, a cultured name, isn't it? Are we at risk of being invaded? No offence, but I'm, I'm glad Britain's called Britain. And, and you're called Peter. Exactly. Not finish off what you were saying. This is Campion, and the referee is going to penalise and penalise the Bears. In fact, we're talking about Brenton Pomery, and he's the offender. Yeah, the arm coming up off the ball there. Only worthy of a penalty as Noel Goldthorpe finds touch in North Sydney's half, or on halfway. They really need to put something on the board here before half-time just to get some platform for the second 40 minutes. This ground oh, smashed. absolutely smashed into the ground. Bartram. The power of work for St George in a beaten side. Felch. Twenty-five metres out from the North Sydney line. A line that hasn't been crossed yet. Mundine and Coyne. Oh, that's a good tackle, Ben Eichen. That's why it hasn't been crossed as Mundine kicks in centre field. Matt Sears, uh, great speed, good chase here from Walford. But Mick Sears, well, he did make it into the field of play and has managed to remain there. It's a classic, it's a classic appeal. Watch this. Sears is in the field of play. Then Mark Coyne forces him back. But then when Sears gets up, he won't play the ball because he says to the referee, make him leave me alone. And after Coyne left him alone, the first thing Sears did, having played the ball, was grab Mark Coyne. So that's the nature of the beast. Good stuff. 40 metres out now from the Bears line. Nathan Brown, he might have thought it might have been better off to still be on the sidelines after this. He copped Danny Williams. Up. I think Williams got him with his head. Well, Anthony Mundine has just come up with a cold knock-on from the scrum win. So instead of St George having the final throw of the dice in this first half, North Sydney might try and kick from the scrum win and make a foot race for Brett Dallas. Adrian Brunker thinks that might be the case. He's motioning to his fullback and far winger. It's with Brunker, uh, with Butner. And uh, there's two North Sydney players on the, on the ground. As Walford comes away with it, the touch judge has gone in from the bottom of the screen. Siren has sounded, but it's not over yet. And not happy. There's the penalty. And here's another two points. Take another look at this. Michael Butner with the ball now. Watch him after he kicks it. One of the chasers, not Michael Butner, but one of the chasers was taken out. 
And you can't do that. It's as simple as that. So Jason Taylor will raise the flags from right in front. The penalty given for a player being impeded, not in possession of the football. And North Sydney go to the break, 24 points to nil in front. We'll be back in just a moment. Glover to share. He has been traditionally underrated, and he has used that to serve his motivation. He's had that belt, and he wants it back. Jamal Hill. If he connects, you're going to sleep. He has got the explosiveness to put your lights out. The quadrilogy, it has to happen now. This is one of the epic rivalries where you have more than one crazy close fight. Two title fights, I cannot wait. If you want to bowl faster tomorrow, you need sports nutrition you can trust today. INT Sports Nutrition is banned substance tested and informed sports certified. INT Sports Nutrition, powering tomorrow, today. Like it. Okay. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Now when you go pre-owned, you can enjoy the same feeling you get with a new Toyota. Tested and backed by Toyota. Upgrade your car, mate. This? Yeah, no big deal. Toyota certified. Pre-owned in a class of its own. Oh, what a feeling. Toyota. Julio bought cheap car insurance with cheap accident repair. Don't risk bargain regret. Next time, join the A-Team, hey, Julio. Who offers great value cover you won't regret? Amy does. Tie your apron. Am I really doing this at my age? The Great Canadian Bake Off is back. On your marks, get set, bake! In a fresh new season. Ten new bakers. I cannot wait to see what they're going to bring. Feast your eyes. Artistically, it's beautiful. It's a work of art. On bakes that are wonderful. Oh, what's that? You want me to taste your thing? Oh, okay. Mm. Whimsical. It's the sea coming to us. I'm really impressed with this cake. And a little wilted. Oh, it's undercooked. And he has no flavor. Who will snap under pressure? Oh, my. Are there fire alarms in here? And who will rise to the top? I love bread. Who doesn't love bread? I mean, probably gluten-free people don't love bread. Ice, ice, steady. Hot, hot, don't touch hot things. I can't stop shaking. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, sir. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Good bake. The new season of The Great Canadian Bake Off. Tuesdays 8.30 on Lifestyle Food or Watch On Demand. There she is. All right, come on, buddy, let's go. Oh, man, Rick, what is this place? Fox 8 is getting bigger. Acknowledge me. Folder. Here I am, trying to make the world safer. Better. Paint the best picture of a horse whilst riding a horse. Tell us everything. I know that new situations can be intimidating. You're looking around and it's all scary and different. Now, if you just stick with me, Morty, we're going to be... Morty, run! we got to get out of here, Morty! Welcome back, second half, and North Sydney enjoying this massive lead, 24 points to nil, made up of three tries, and six goals by their captain, so it's going to take uh, an almighty effort by the Dragons, and certainly at the same time it's going to need North Sydney to fall off their game. Walford now. Well, there's the missed tackles and way too many for St George. Kevin Campion takes the ball almost to the halfway line. Just wonder whether halftime will be the worst thing that happened to North Sydney. They were going along so nicely, they didn't want the break. St George will come out with some renewed vigour and hope to get some early points. As Nathan Brown finds Damien Smith, chance out wide, but the pass goes astray to Adrian Brunker. The referee ordering the turnover now. Certainly not the organised cohesion that we've seen a couple of times from St George this year. Williams over the halfway, taken down by Damian Smith. 45 metres away from the St George line. And the Bears leading 24 points to nil. Rolling down the hill at the moment. Dallas. Taylor calling it. Taylor, behind Fairley, Moore did well under pressure, 
Knocked down by St George. Six more back on the 30 metre line. Played there by um, Trindle. Now it is David Fairley. The 20 metres out. Wilson. Taylor. Oh, angled run by Billy Moore. Pulled down 10 metres out from the line. Oh, great play the ball for Mark Soden. Soden's over. Soden's over to score. And Foley deserves the drive, and he'll know that it was set up by the run of Billy Moore and the quick play the ball. You've got the feeling that St George were just hanging on. That's the end of a 15-metre burst by Billy Moore. And look at the speed of the play of the ball. The mark is still getting back in the line. Mark Soden scooting out of dummy half. Lance Thompson, David Barnhill, they can't stop him. And eventually the ball gets put down. Colin Ward here just got a piece of the jersey of Mark Soden. It wasn't enough. And the little hooker has been absolutely outstanding this afternoon. Changes direction over the top of Lance Thompson. Carries Barnhill. He doesn't get it down on the first instant, but there it is now. Look at this goal-kicking record for Taylor, particularly this year. And he keeps it going. 30 points to nothing now. North Sydney over the Dragons. So they again come to this blind side. Now, Trindle. Taken down on the 10-metre line. Taylor's got his troops mustered on the right. Sears looming in the back, looking for the inside pass. Butner! Butner's eight metres away. They come back to the left. And a run around by Soden with Craig Wilson. Five, me five, me five tackles gone, five metres out. Taylor's kick is... Oh! I think he's made it in time for number three. Michael Butner! Well, Michael Beard has obviously been dirty on the fact that Ben Eichen had seven tries coming into this match. He's got three this afternoon. And it was precision kick. No doubt that Butner's onside. Lance Thompson, Noel Goldthorpe, they can't foot it with Butner. And it's a hat-trick. And perfect timing from the, the chase as well. See Lance Thompson, he couldn't turn and chase. Goldthorpe really only reacted very late, and it was just the fact that Butner wanted to get to the football more than the other chases. Beautifully weighted by Jason Taylor. Taylor converts. And North Sydney, 36 points to nil. The exception of David Hall, they have a very young back line. Trey Stone. Maybe the most important thing, Ray, I think, is that there's more options out there for them. Now these days, if you, if you mark Jason Taylor, they'll be able to, to do something elsewhere. In the past, I don't think that's been the case. They've relied too much on him. I don't think they do so now. With St George through Damien Smith. Stay down, stay down. Still can't find a crack in this defence on the last tackle. They come back now for Goldthorpe. Noel's kick goes across the contest. Rake back by St George. North Sydney turn. Defence into attack. And away he goes. Away goes Matt Sears. On a 70 metre gallop. Exhibition gallop, really. And that brings up the 40. And a great effort there from Billy Moore, I think, is the man. St George claiming there was a knock on, there was, but it was by their team. And Billy Moore was able to clean up. A kick from Goldthorpe. There you see Billy Moore in the foreground. Matt Toshak. Comes off Lance Thompson. There's Billy Moore in the right place at the right time. He picks it up. Turns around and finds Matt Sears. One of the best sights in rugby league. I think it's quite obvious that he's a favourite player of mine. Out of the clutches of Adrian Brunker. And the youngster, rookie of the year. Sets off on a 70 metre right to the try line. 
If you're an admirer of this boy, Peter, then you would have also been an admirer of the classic Canterbury player, Les Johns. So many similarities. So Jason Taylor's day at the office is almost complete. Go, 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 go. From Brunker into Mundy. Mundine away from Biukna, pulled down from behind by Eichen. 20 metre line, Hardy to the right, lost by Coyne, regained by St George. But he will play the knock on, I believe, against Mark Coyne. It's interesting to see whether Mark Coyne actually gets his foot to this ball before it hits the ground. Ball has dropped. No, the ball actually hits the ground before he strikes it with the foot. North winning the scrum then. And uh, that is David Hall. Pomery. Williams. Fairly. Soden. Taylor. The Dragons combining to put the North Sydney captain away. Wilson gets his kick in before being hit by Mark Coyne. Craig Wilson for Jason Taylor in the kicking area. Siren in the background now as the ball is battered along the line. Damian Smith down the left of the ground. Kicks into the centre. North Sydney there to clean it up. So at full time, the Bears have registered one of their biggest wins ever over St George. 42 points to nothing.